So there's been a lot of talk about rule changes in the different cornhole leagues. One that kind of flew by without much fanfare was the American Cornhole Organization, or the ACO, made a move to require ACO stamp bags at regionals and opens uh, for all competitors, not just pros. So with that being said, why that's important to me is this year I've, I'm planning on participating in a lot more ACO events, and a lot of that has to do with just sheer geography. There's, there's quite a few ACO majors within a six hour radius of where I live, so I can get to those a lot easier, or ACO opens, I guess they call them. And then there's actually an ACO regional schedule firing up here, here local with a couple of uh, really good players that are helping uh, host that and get that going here locally. Now, of course, I'm still gonna play in some ACL stuff too, but the ACO intrigues me. Uh, it's another way to, to participate and have some pretty high level competition. I'm not trying to be a pro. I'm just trying to find the best places to go to, to enjoy good competition. So I think the ACO still fits that bill for me. Uh, but with that new bag rule, you gotta have ACO stand bags to participate in any of the regionals or their majors. I had to find some ACO bags to use and I am gonna roll with the bags from the guys at Corn Slinger Bag Company, CBC. I've got a whole lineup of those I'm gonna be carrying with me to each event and we're gonna go through those right now. So we're not gonna go through these in any particular order. I'm gonna go through my top three, I guess, in no particular order, then one extra set that I'm gonna carry that I use quite a bit for practice and I'll tell you why. Uh, first up is gonna be the CBC Carbon. If you guys saw my previous video on these, these are very similar to, if you wanna to look to the ACL side and try to relate, these are very similar to the Viper R's. I did a comparison video. I'll, I'll try to link it right up top of the screen here. But these are kind of my Swiss Army knife bags. These work in all conditions. I'll be using these probably as much or more than any of the bags I have. Got that hybrid carpet slow side, that solid uh, eight, nine speed fast side, great in humidity, still slide on slow sticky boards, controllable on fast boards, great bag. Happy to have this, the carbons in my lineup this year. Next up, CBC Vectors. These are on the slower end of the scale. From an ACL comparison, these compare a lot to OG2, Black Sheet Baggers OG2s. They even have the exact same color carpet and material that I have on my OG2s um, that I like to play with. I'm gonna be using these if the boards are really, really fast. And I like using these in singles competition if the player I'm playing against I know is better than me. These stick to the boards like glue. I can kind of muck the board up a little bit, make the game kind of messy, and that helps. If I feel like it helps when I can't, I know I can't go hole for hole with somebody. I can kind of lay a couple blockers, uh, muck up the board a little bit, and maybe get lucky and see what happens. I like this kind of carpet and this bag because they don't dance around the board as much if you're not perfectly flat. They'll still, they'll still relatively slide straight and true uh, even if you're not perfectly flat, although being flat, of course, helps. The fast side is fast enough to grab any bags uh, hanging in the hole because you're gonna get some of that with these with these carpet bags. Really digging these CBC impacts. These are gonna be the, the third of my regular bags in my ACO lineup. Think on the ACL side, BG Wizards. Um, get that herringbone carpet like the Wizards and some other bags have. And then that nice fast side. These play like a six on the slow side to a eight, nine on the fast side. The hand hold, the feel of these in hand is probably my favorite of all of them. I still need to get better at controlling uh, the trajectory and how flat my bag is before I use these all the time. But they don't, they don't dance around too bad, uh, even if you're not perfectly flat. But as I try to improve and, and add different shots to my, to my repertoire, if you will, these are gonna be great because you can make these do some things. You can roll, cut, do all those things that, that some of the better players do. Uh, and like I said, I just like how these feel. These just feel the best. When you flow, throw a flat bag, they look pretty in the air. I just really, really like these impacts. And then the extra set, the other set I'm gonna carry along with me is the CBC Predators. These are basically made like the impacts, but they're fuller. They got the herringbone carpet, same fast side. They're just fuller bags and they really do feel great. But because of that fullness, these will these'll bounce around and, and do a little more dancing on the boards than the, than the impacts will. These have been great for me to practice with because you gotta get them flat to get them to slide up the board correctly. Otherwise they may bounce and kick on you. Um, so if I'm throwing these and getting them to slide straight, then I know my bag is, is flat or at least flat enough to go to competition with. Like I said, same material, same herringbone carpet there, running like a six speed and an eight, nine speed on the fast side. Great bag. These may end up replacing the impacts as I get better and better at controlling the, the flight of the bag. But uh, I'm still gonna carry them with me. Uh, just as a, as a practice set, a warm-up set, because I know if I can get these rolling when I'm warming up um, in between games and stuff, that my other bags will definitely fly true. 
So there you go, guys. What bags on the ACO side, if you're, if you're going to play in any ACO stuff, what bags are you playing with? Have you ever used any of these CBC models? Please let me know. Shout out to the guys at Corn Slingers Bag Company. I'm so proud to partner with them for this ACO season. Hopefully I can get some good content at the upcoming ACO events and maybe get some, some podiums to show for all of you, all my fellow noobs out there. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching.